Hi guys and welcome to our new episode. Today we are staying on Kryderen camping and it's the last weekend of May. In Norway in April and May there are many free of work holidays and this weekend is one of them. It's called Pinsehelg and it's church holiday. We wanted to use this opportunity and travel a bit. This was also a chance to gather our group and ride with them on some wonderful roads that Norway is full of. A week before we traveled on freshly opened road number 520 and we have a video full of winter landscapes, really recommend you to check this out. Let's now talk about campings. Norway is very focused on this type of accommodation. You can find many different types of places focused on different traveling groups. This camping was focused on camper vans and we were the only ones that slept in a tent here. And here comes another advice from me. If you want, try to find a smaller camping. They are more suitable for tents and you will not get place away from for example sanitary facilities like we were. Also those small ones give you more freedom with choosing a place. Normal thing is that campers pay more so bigger campings gives better places to them and tents are thrown away aside. I don't know how about you but if I gonna finally go on my once in a year dream vacation I would like to enjoy it as much as possible and that's also about sleeping in nice places with nice views. We wanted to start our trip on Friday right after work and if you think that Norway doesn't have traffic jams you are wrong. We waited two hours to see on maps that roads are not stuck and we managed to get to camping right before the sunset. Where are you going beautiful? To wash my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Peggy 18 <laughs> Today chef What what we going to have today chef <laughs> Sandwiches with uh, cream cheese, yeah cream. cream cheese salami salami and... noshk salami and, and noshk cheese This area is a great attraction for all railway fans, a Kryderbanen which is a heritage railway connecting Kryderen Lake with Vikersund. It was opened in 1872, has 26 km length and was operating until 1985 which makes it longest and one of the oldest museum railways in Norway. Every year over 18,000 people are visiting this place. If you want to take a ride, come here at Sunday and buy the ticket. Price for both ways is 329 korons. Today is Pinsehelg. It means that Monday is free in Norway. Yeah. We have to make some grocery shop. Yeah, and prepare us for it today, tomorrow and on... Uh, to yeah, Monday. tomorrow. Ah, Monday, yeah, but Monday, that's what. After some time we got to our destination point for today which was Banda Camping and among all I have been to this one is definitely one of my favorite. It's placed beautifully on the Banda Lake, there is beautiful beach, bar, restaurant and it's so peaceful here. But before you get here you will drive on a curvy and beautifully placed road that leads through wonderful valleys, meadows and even great viewpoint on the lake. Really recommend you guys to come here. We have private beach. Water is probably cold, but we have beach. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, adventure time. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this camping is awesome. Just look at this view here. It's amazing how how it's placed it's a wonderful view and wonderful place our friends came so we are full group now <laughs> 
Sunday welcomed us with best weather we could imagine and in sun this place looked even better. After the whole group was ready with breakfast and packing we hit the road. Our plan for today was to make over 300 km and we had to check very carefully weather on higher placed roads. End of May is a time that there are still much snow on higher parts so if you are planning your trip so early check this before riding on higher roads. very cold. Now we rode like 80 kilometers in under 8 degrees and uh, the landscape was really nice but it's really cold and it's co this cold it's going into the body so right now I am making uh, my um, coffee Ooh, and I have to get some more clothes on me. And it's windy. Everybody was freezing and we had to still go over one more mountain pass. The road number 37 to Ryukan. Another high going road with snow everywhere. And there is one more place that I want to show you today. Before getting to Ryukan city there will be this half opened tunnel. Take a turn to parking before it and walk 200 meters down. You will find the scene, many benches and beautiful viewpoint on a gorge. You can walk also a little more to see waterfall nearby. And if someone from Norway that knows what is happening in this place is watching this, can you please write in the comment something about it? It would be really really great. Beside that point, the whole Ryukan and Vemork are very historically interesting and beautifully placed places. Did you guys know that in this city they don't have direct sunlight between September and March? That's why in 2013 they built three giant mirrors to reflect sun towards the city. In March there is a special event, Festival of the Sun, and everybody celebrate that sun is shining again. You will also find here Industrial Workers Museum with exposition about heavy water and sabotage attack in facility. We finished our day on another really beautiful but expensive sun weekend camping. This time we decided to take a hitta because we really needed to warm us up. Place for tent costs here 280 korons which is one of the biggest prices in area for sure. Hitta costed us about 1500. This camping is placed with extra beautiful view and there are many attractions like sauna, mini golf, restaurant, bar, many benches to admire area, beach and more. It's really great place to relax after a whole day of traveling. This is when this episode ends guys. Remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Write a comment and let us know what you liked or didn't like. 
See you guys in the next episode. Bye.